When a roof is first created, it is a cohesive unit where each segment of the roof will update as changes are made to the individual sides. Roofs can be exploded into individual surface elements that can be changed independently of one another for more in-depth editing and customization. To break a roof into individual surfaces, select the roof, right-click, and choose Convert Roof to Surfaces. The catalog will appear and you select the roof material you want to use for the individual pieces and click OK. The roof is now independent surfaces. Revising one will no longer affect the adjacent surfaces. Each edge of a roof surface has a definition applied to it that determines its appearance in 3D, the properties available to be applied to it, and if that segment is quantifiable or not, allowing you to only quantify certain sections of the roof. Edges can be defined as a fascia, gable, hip, valley, or ridge, or have no definition. You can edit the slope of a surface and also edit the lower point and upper point heights. Once you select the surface, right-click and select Surface Commands, Define Surface. If you want the lower edge of the surface to sit at a specific height, enter the height in the lower point edit box. Then click the lock icon to lock that value in. The lower point height in the dialog is the height off the floor on the current location. Looking out to the model, it publishes the height from grade. If you want the upper edge of the surface to sit at a specific height, enter the height in the upper point edit box. Then click the lock icon to lock that value in. Otherwise, this value will be a variable depending on the lower point height or slope value. Either the lower point or slope value fields must be unlocked in order to be able to enter an appropriate upper point value. If you want the surface to have a specific slope, enter the slope in the slope value edit box. Click OK to accept the new values. You can resize or reshape a surface by clicking and dragging its edges and corners. To resize the surface, Click and drag the solid blue grips located at the center of each edge. Alternatively, you can use the Move Edge tool on the right-click menu to move an edge as well. To reshape the surface, click and drag the hollow blue grips located at the corners. Alternatively, you can use the Stretch tool on the right-click menu as well. You can add nodes to the surface edges to create more grips for stretching a surface into a different shape. Select the surface, right-click, and select Surface Commands, Add Surface Node. Click on the point on the surface edge where you want to add a node. The edge is split into separate surfaces, each with its own grips for more moving and stretching. With the automatic roof tools and the ability to convert a roof into separate surfaces to further refine the shape of a roof, any complex roof configuration can be accomplished.